But first, this week, we've been looking at creativity. We've been meeting some of the young creatives working with local businesses and changing uh, the way they work. And sometimes, how we see things as well. Today, we're going to take you into the world of virtual and augmented reality. Chris Wood is the director of Ocean 3D. And Julian Watley is a games design student at the University of Plymouth. Welcome, both of you, firstly, to the show. Hi. Now, I want to start off with you, Chris. Uh, as I mentioned you first in that little bit, uh, what do you and you and your company do? Explain for us. Uh, it's, oh, it's, <laughs> good evening, by the way. Um, <laughs> we create virtual tours where, without the need, although you can use the, the headsets, we create virtual tours. So a bit like Google Earth, but for much higher quality. Um, so that, so you're, you're able to navigate around them, look around spaces, um, so real world environments, but we create a digital map of them. That's I, I really like uh, how, how you put that there. Actually, it's quite visual, like Google Maps, but just you know, different places and on your face. That sort of thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Julian, how did you become part of Ocean 3D World, and, and what have you done so far? Um, so it was a virtual internship scheme that was being advertised through the uni, and okay. basically, I just wanted to take part in something throughout this pandemic because I was just stuck at home. And I wanted to do something productive with my time and my skill. So I contacted um, the university and saw the Ocean 3D thing come up. And I was just interested in that. And, and what have you done so far then with it? So I've basically innovated on an idea um, of creating an indoor navigation system. Um, so oh. taking, taking into account what they've already done with their 3D mapping... Um, I wanted to put that into a game engine and sort of gamify the environment so it would help people with different forms of disabilities. Oh, wow, amazing. Oh, that's really clever. Okay, well, I've got a question for both of you now, but as we're, as we're speaking, Julian, uh, what do you think uh, will now be possible uh, to do combining your skills together, both of you? <laughs> Mm. You go, Julian, um, go on. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the intelligent one out of the Put you on the spot, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, I, I want to take it a bit further um, and potentially make some form of mobile application to help potentially elderly people in um, care homes to help them, for example, uh, navigate around the care home using an app on a tablet or a phone um, by using the 3D scanning technology they'll be able to navigate around the home by just tapping a button on the screen and it'll be really clear and obvious what buttons to click and then you just follow the instructions and it'll be like a virtual tour guide. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I've, I've been in some of those homes and uh, they are huge. Uh, it, it's difficult yeah. enough for me to navigate my way around them, you know, let alone someone who may have dementia or, you know, maybe is even just new to the home. Uh, that's, a, that's a really good idea. What about you, Chris? Well, I mean, the, the reason, one of the reasons we set up Ocean 3D is my partner's um, uh, an accessibility um, uh, professional, an inclusivity professional. She saw the technology that I was using uh, and said, no, this is going to be absolutely brilliant for people with autism, um, educational needs, high anxiety, travel fears, all those sorts wow. of things. Wow, okay, yeah. Um, and it's one of the reasons that we were so attracted to, to Julian and, and his skills is because there was a, a, a natural match to that. Um, but no, we've you know we we've been creating tours for the likes of the National Autistic Society in Cornwall and the you know the RNLI and a couple of other um, you know sort of fairly major colleges as well Truro Cornwall uh, Cornwall College uh, Truro and Penwith College and a couple of others. Wow, uh, as a well lot as the, um, <laughs> uh, Pen I think the uh, the new you can actually do one of our tours if you go onto the new uh, Exeter Police Station. And they are now using that um, to help with vulnerable um, victims of crime and perpetrators of crime and also um, uh, uh, police officers who may have, may not be neurotypical, so may have you know, autism or whatever. So it's, it enables them to transition to new locations as well. So what we're looking to do is use um, with the, the university uh, placement that um, 
that Julian's going to be on, uh, we're looking to really sort of take that up a level and, and make some bespoke applications that uh, are perfect for a range of people with a with a range of disabilities or, or hidden conditions. Wow. Okay. And, and and I think what I love about this particularly is, is it's taking it into practical applications. You know, it's not not just all in theory. It's practical application to people who really need it and can really use this stuff as well. I think I think that's what I really like about it. Uh, thank you both. Uh, short but sweet. Um, it's fascinating uh, to find out now. Uh, where can you go uh, if you want? to look at the university's uh, virtual intern scheme do you know the address don't worry if you, you don't because i have it here <laughs> okay well, that's great i don't know where the mm. university is one i can t- i can show you know i can give you the the um, the link for some of the the tours that we've created for people, yes but, please uh, do obviously the universe well the, the the tours that we've created for people if you go to our gallery page it's ocean 3d so it's ocean numeral three letter d yep .co.uk and go to the gallery pages and you can see everything on there from an Iron Age Fugu right through to the um, Ivan Ellen Penley lifeboat. But oh. um, Well, I'm going to have to do uh, that yeah, after I'm... the show. Amazing. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Chris Wood and Julian Watley. Thank you so much for taking thank the you. time today. Chris Wood of 3D World and Julian Watley, who's doing a master's in game design. They came together through the University of Plymouth's virtual intern scheme. You can find out more about it, as I mentioned, at that link, which is Plymouth.ac forward slash the dash bridge forward slash the dash bridge